All right. Should be kicking in here any second. It looks cool. Yes, yeah, attached to your helmet. I Good. Think you can show everyone in the mirror here, maybe. Oh yeah, that looks funky. That's very futuristic. Why? There's lots of ads playing beforehand here. We gotta skip the ads. All right, yeah, let's, let's kick it. Here. Yeah. We are headed. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sapporo. This is day six of our motorcycle adventure here in Hokkaido. We're heading on to Kayano Eki, which is an old decommissioned train station. And there's a very cool little rider house there. And you'll find out ab about that later in our documentary. Let's get started. Yeah, let's go. We're yeah. Already 30 minutes late. I'm following John. God forbid. Hey guys, here's Johnny boy. You're on candid camera, so be careful. This is the first time I've been following John for this entire trip. So his cheese is in the breeze. Oh yeah, there's a bit of traffic too. We'll have to, as soon as the cars well, that's the entrance. What we can do is go between these cars. This guy, after the silver car, if he's not blocking our... Oh, he's going to let us through. So go ahead and go through there, John, slowly. And just check to your right. That's it. Cute girl in a cowboy hat. This is kind of like the Old West here in Hokkaido. So we're turning right here. Okay. Well, I don't have the... I've got to watch the... Uh, I hope I put the right location in. What if I put the wrong location in? <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that I might have put the wrong... Alright, let's go. We're going somewhere. You put in Kayano, right? I believe so. Okay. It's Kayano. What is it? Well, that's a running shoe. Yeah. It's funny. The town is named after the running shoe. Or is it the other way around? You can hear me on your um, comm unit, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, I don't know if they can hear you, but I'll repeat what you say. Can they hear me? If it goes, it goes through my microphone and my helmet, they might hear you. Okay. If you lift your, if you lift your face shield up, they'll hear you. Oh. Can you hear me when I got my comm unit on? <laughs> you can check the chat. That's right, Mike. Mike Chan says a live stream while riding. Yes, this is a live stream while riding. I do these in Tokyo. I'm just glad it's not raining. Yeah. yeah. It was raining all day yesterday and it was cold. So it's pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, it's very comfortable. And uh, these jackets that we're wearing from Kushitani are really, really nice. They're ventilated so the uh, cool air blows through as you're riding down the roads and I it's the zippers open what about you not yet uh, we gotta go all right here we go take us to our leader johnny dab oh, that's a bummer okay I'm going to give John plenty of clearance. Oh, you can hear me? <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so John's recording this with our 360 camera. Oh, cool. Wave, everybody. 
That's John the Dob. Lev Nick 77 says, is that John the Dob? Ted Pack, welcome. Yeah. Hey, Jason. They can only hear you a little bit, and that's probably a good thing. John is riding a Honda 400X. It's a cross bike. I'm on a Yamaha Tracer 900, and I'm telling you, I love this bike. It's lighter than the BMW equivalent, like a GS. Not as bulky and big. Okay. Acceleration's so smooth on the throttle. None of that herky-jerky stuff, like with my Speed Triple. It's quiet, powerful. It's got sport mode. Loving it. Really, really loving it. I'll check these posts or chats as we uh, get to a stop here. Yep, here we go. John's really getting his uh, his balance. He's doing good. He's confident in the turns. How many kilometers? Okay. Good. I'm gonna come up alongside you. If you lift your hood, lift your uh, mouth thing, we can hear you better. Red light. Green light. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, Ted. I'm not sure if I'm gonna trade in the triple, but I tell you, I'm serious about. I really, really like this. Uh, you right? Oh, for crap's sake. Okay, we can turn right here. Let's get over to, the, to this lane. We're fine. We're fine. The blind leading the sighted. Remember, we do not want the express. Oh, we do want the expressway, yeah? Okay, this way. This way. Okay, here we go. Here we go, John. You can go through. Go through. Okay, I'm following you. We could pull over. But well, watch this guy. You've got your right turn signal on, John. Okay, let's pull over and fix it. Okay, let's just get here. Let's go over here. Follow me. It'll self-correct. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sometimes when you're in... Okay, so take a right at this next light. Where are we turning, John? Okay. It's kind of a bass backwards way, but. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go, and then you come up. We got a, some cars coming, so. Yeah, we had a nice night. Okay, we had a nice night. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Watch out for the kids crossing. In Sapporo last night. Wet, wild, and windy. Lost an umbrella. Oh, Mr. Cocky Pants here. Pulling up in front of me. John's wearing these really nifty leg uh, armor. See that? Trying out his new pads. So it's going to be a bit bittersweet. This is the, the end of our motorcycle leg of this tour. And, uh. You want to open up your jacket? Yeah, please. Got 
cut it one more these sleeves have zippers on them that you can uh, open the vents I oh, forget it forget it, forget it, forget it. Yeah, these sleeves have zippers in them. You open them and the, the air blows through. Helps to cool you off. Okay. So it's been great having you guys along on this leg of the tour. Afternoon, we'll be in an RV heading east towards Nemuro, which is the easternmost part of Hokkaido. So we've got a pretty long drive ahead of us, five hours, maybe five and a half hours, non-stop. John's wearing Depends, so we don't have to stop. At least that's the rumor. I don't know, are we going to go to Kushiro? Do we have time to stop in Kushiro? We'll see if we have time, but the fisherman's restaurant we want to go to probably closes early. But we'll have Emmy call ahead and see if we can reserve a spot. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have time, it's better just to bypass the city because it's a wide bypass. If you go through it, ah. it's an extra 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. We'll stop at Obihiro for a Buddha don, which is pork oh. on rice. This is a grilled Buddha uh, pork and, and this sauce that's awesome. Very famous in Obihiro. Buddha don. Obihiro has a famous Buddha don. Okay. Um, it's 600 meters, so. All right. But these lights are in the way, so we got some, some leeway. Yeah. Hey, Linda's here. Hello, Linda. She says, cut a live feed with PVG, doing the lead honors. Johnny's doing the lead honors. Well, I'm doing the, the live stream honors, but he's he's leading us. He, uh, I'm using one phone to monitor the chats. And he's got the navigation, so he's going to be getting over here in the right lane. Go ahead. That's all right. Okay, watch, the, watch this white guy. Okay. White guys, they're always trouble. Okay, just take it easy, take it easy. Okay, he said the Navi changed again. He says keep going straight. Just don't make any last minute changes, okay? Even if you miss the turn, don't worry about it. And you're confident you put in Kayano Aiki, right? Okay, well we're fine. Kayano Hokkaido, not Kayano Tokyo, right? So we're just heading on the outskirts of Sapporo right now. We're going to stop for this light. On the outskirts of Sapporo. And uh, we're about uh, 50, 40, 48 minutes away from our destination. We'll be, we won't be live streaming that whole way. We're going to go under, we're going underneath the Hakodate line, train line. So that's going to be pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so this, this train line up here is the Hakodate train line. We'll be going under their train bridge. We make a right to go over the river. Okay, we're gonna make a right after that, cross the river. This is more country country road than the other side, which is more urban. Okay. So, I don't know why the route is changing. So we'll we'll uh, let's let's pull over before we enter the expressway and we'll we'll end the stream there, okay? So, uh, Jody says hello. Megan, hello. How's the signal? Signal's good. Carrie Larson's here. Oh, what happened to the road mics? They dead? Everybody's concerned about the road mics, John. 
No comment means he's butt hurt, they're broken. There's a hop about the line. Yeah. Yeah, we we're hoping to do more live streams via bike, but it's just when you're in the rural areas, there's oftentimes not very strong dampa or uh, uh, signal, and when we're rushing between destinations, trying to pack everything in, it's just an, an extra step that we have to take. We're we'll turning right up here, according to Clueless and Lark. I'm Lark, by the way. Are you sure, John? I'm not here. Yeah. All right. No, we got a. Oh, we got green. We got a green arrow. We got a green. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Got your signal on. What's the name of this river? Beautiful. Get your turn signal on. John. John, you got your turn signal on. Are we turning here? Okay. Okay. It's uh, not far to the expressway. As long as it doesn't change again. Uh, I don't know. A bunch of traffic lights ahead. <laughs> got some traffic lights ahead. Yeah, when we woke up this morning, it was about I got up about 5.11. The next door neighbors were incredibly noisy with their little kids talking, talking loudly and, ugh, that's always irritating. When you stay in a hotel, you wanna have a peaceful rest. Anyway, I got up 5.11 and uh, it was blue sky with some clouds and it was like, wow, awesome. It was perfect after a rainy night. Our final day we'll, won't have any rain going in. That's a blessing. All right, turn signals on. Now it's not. So very happy with these Cardo intercom systems that we got uh, on a loaner basis. Would have been nice if they'd given them to us but they loaned them to us and uh, we're making good use of them. Really easy to set up, helmet communication, and they stay connected. We have, we have three of them we're in use. One's recording our conversation right now, which is really cool. We'll have that implemented in the uh, documentary. Okay, about a mile left until the expressway. Less than a mile. We see some blue sky up there. Blue sky. Blue sky. Yeah, it's it's blowing this way, which is good. Well, our next live stream will be in the RV. Most likely. Yeah, John's gonna have something. We've got a little bit of work ahead of us unpacking 
and uh, getting prepared for the camper. Yeah, once we see the expressway, I'll, I'll pull over. Okay. All right, have a chance to check your uh, chats here. Lee Max says, envious guys. Thank you. Yeah, highly recommend a Hokkaido motorcycle ride or a camping trip for that matter. Renting a camping car, we'll be using my friends Japan CRC, Japan Camping Car Rental Company. They're the largest chain of of uh, camping cars, rental RVs in the uh, in the country. So we will uh, be picking up our RV from them, and you guys will get that experience as well. Bikes and careful this cop. Bikes and uh, RV living in Hokkaido. Respect the law. law yeah. He's in a Suzuki Solio. Doesn't stand a chance up against the Honda 400X. You, think you, could have that you bet. In sport mode on this thing? Absolutely. Okay. Evan says he was sick during his trip to Sapporo. That's that's a shame. Yeah, we'll pull up. We'll pull over up here. You decide where. Maybe after this light, there's that. Uh, get in the left lane. Just got through this light. Yeah, Family Mart. Did I get that right? Man, Manly Farts. Manly Farts, excuse me. Okay, we're going to make this quick. Quick stop, say farewell to you guys, and we're going to get on the road and make it to our next destination, which I'm really excited about. All right. I'm going to unplug this and uh, now they can hear you properly. Oh really? I'm still alive! Mom, I did it! She told me not to ride a motorcycle ever. Your mom did? Yeah, so that means ride. Okay. We never know unless you try. In Hokkaido, if you're going to be riding a motorcycle, it's probably the best place because there's not that much traffic and people are used to motorcyclists because everybody rides up here. Uh, a lot more than down there, I think, right? Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. Well, in the summertime, a lot of this is kind of the mecca for the uh, mecca for of riding. motorcycling in Japan. Yeah. Ah, uh, I got the police sticker here on the back. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. All right, guys. Well, I want to say uh, thank you to everybody, as always, for coming along. Um, let me get down here for a second. We uh, will be signing out for now and heading on to our destination uh, which is about 45 minutes ago. and uh, we will reconvene with you all from the RV later on. Let me uh, take him, let me take him out I mean, of this. I can get you. Now you can see the common rider himself. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait no, dude. Oh, man. oh, it slides out. Okay. I think I ruined everything. My bad. Common Rider. Didn't you voice over Common Rider once? Yes, I did. So you're the original. I was uh, the Henshin, uh, Alan Henshin, the Necrom. Necrom, Omega Uduo. Do you ride for good or evil? Well, Necrom was the good Henshin, but he looked pretty bad. His badass black outfit. Pretty slick. Sorry, I'm just having fun in your. Yeah. Reflection. And you broke my mount. Thank you for that. Really? Well, you screwed something up. Well, I don't know how it works. 
There's the Cardo. Next stop, drink of water. Then 40 minutes on the expressway. What? What? What did I do? Screwed it up. You should have said, you have to instruct me. I never know Just how to do it. Take your time with your stuff and it won't get broken. Your time? 40 minutes late. All right, I'm good. We've made peace. All right, we're good. We made peace. Someone is a little bit too serious in the comments. You guys are so, so angry and, and upset and you complain too much. I said, look, you know how uninteresting it would be if we didn't complain or talk about anything? Oh. oh, Peter, look at that flower. Don't you agree? It's the most beautiful flower. I do concur, John. Let us move on to another thing it's we can agree upon. Color, isn't it? Look at the reflection of this. You know, it's, it's, it would be so boring. Yeah. Of course, we're going to have to disagree have and argue and complain. We have squabbles. The best ratings come when we're complaining. Yeah. This trip sucks. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Here's Peter. Alright, guys. I gotta get some water. Alright, John's gonna get some water. You want a coffee or something? We don't have time. I just have coffee. I'm good. No, no, we have a, we have our little squabbles. We saw yesterday morning when we were in Otaru. We started the live stream. And I spotted that incredible flat turquoise blue Lamberari. What was that? Ferragini? Lamb Lamborghini, sorry. Uh, that supercar. John, look, look, at, look at the Ferrari we saw in in Hirafu. Peter, I just started the live stream. We can't talk over each other like this. So we have those moments, but they're fun, and he gets over it immediately, and uh, we move on. We're, we're good buds. Good buds fight, um, but they also respect one another. And uh, we. Uh, <laughs> Hey Ramsey's. Oh, that's the other thing I, I hear. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Can you get any money? I hear that all the time too. Make t-shirts. I forgot my wallet. Well, yeah, Hokkaido because it's 20, usually 20. here. It's usually here. That's where my birthday usually it's is. Usually here. Yeah. Um, gosh, we've made it longer than I thought we would without a major meltdown. Uh, and last night was actually a good time for us to have a, a separate room. You should have seen the smile on my face when we got to the hotel and realized that this room's just not big enough for the two of us. We're going to have to get two separate rooms. Oh, really? It's nice having a little, little space to spread out. We're going to be in that RV now for four days um, and sleeping in that. It's, it's spacious, but it it's nothing like being in a hotel room. So uh, that's going to be challenging, but it'll still be fun. We'll be tired from all of the filming and traveling, so uh, those sleeps will be pretty deep, I think. But I'm excited to show everybody the, the uh, place where we're staying in the, ca the camper that is. those roads the rest stops for cars watch watch behind you. parking area yeah what do they call them pa service areas no, 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 that's no, where it. we can park the, the rv for free oh they're well michi no eki yeah michi no eki yeah, yeah there's some wind noise sorry guys okay we're gonna it's pretty Let's windy go. today we're gonna go we can get on the road and get to our destination so thanks so much for uh, joining and we'll see you in the rv later thanks jason thanks ramsey everybody jason's here ramsey silent terror I'm a motorcycle rider. Whiskey it says, what happens if John farts in the RV? No, don't. It's actually the other way around. All right? The gas is behind you, which is, yeah. All put right. that on a t-shirt. On that note. The gas is behind you. Bye for now.